inconsistencies between what has been said in previous decisions and the reference to that particular uh, Jachi Kwesen decision. But my point is that at the end of all of that back and forth, citing cases and so on, no directions were given about whether the seats of those four have been vacated or not. In fact, what they seem to be saying is that that is a matter which has to be determined as a matter of fact in the High Court. Mm -hmm. That's my that's my reading of the judgment, that it has to be determined in the High Court. In a sense, we're back to square one. On the same program, former national chairman of the NPP, Freddie Blay, said the court's judgment is practical. But I don't believe that we're back to square one. From my understanding of the judgment that I've had time this, this afternoon to go through and uh, confirms what some of us have all this while have held on to saying that uh, uh, the right honorable speaker's position on the matter was wrong. Essentially, it was uh, from the long statement that he read, which that you has referred to as the formal statement that communication. he made. Communication. Communication. He made it clear. Of course, he spoke about uh, uh, the reason for standing firm against cross carpeting and uh, went about it in a way. But the issue was uh, he was interpreting 97G, 97H, essentially. That's what he was doing. And by that interpretation, he made it clear that uh, those who have have a big nomination form and maybe filed and the polls may be coming out. He's taking judicial notice, judicial notice of their taking those steps. And he was therefore reacting to what the minority leader had drawn his attention. And he went ahead to say that definitely are no more members of parliament. And that's the central point. And that's why uh, Markin went to court for interpretation. I think after going forth, back and forth with him, saying that let's see what we can do and have to do. It remained only about two months or three months. But of course, they did not disagree. He took a different position. And then Markin also took a different position. And as I said, as I sit here, maybe I've taken a different position for my lecturer, uh, uh, Tachu Chikata. Definitely. I agree that interpretation is like that when you say you are living you will leave you are living and you've left interpretation are a, a bit different we'll go to the interpretation yeah, but, but let's be clear yes now npp constitutional and legal committee chairman frank davis has dismissed calls for an electronic mode of selection for empaneling judges his comments come at a time when a former justice of the supreme court william atuguba condemned the empaneling of some supreme court justices on high profile cases lodis iduasari reports a retired supreme court judge justice william atuguba on saturday heavily criticized the empaneling of judges at the apex court following its decision in the parliamentary vacant seat suit. He questioned the motive behind the selection by the Chief Justice and noted that politicization of the courts had surged under the current administration. Look even at the, the, the empanelment. <laughs> People has referred to all those. I mean, for what reason will you bring the younger justices to handle such a weighty matter to the exclusion of the seniors. Uh -huh. What reason? Yeah. I mean, this reason, sir. Director of Legal of the National Democratic Congress, Godwin Edugi Tamaklu, pleaded with the Chief Justice to deploy an electronic selection process. Would she have the courage to trigger an electronic empaneling of the judges? Because an electronic empaneling of the judges would definitely ensure that you have a perfect blend. Because if it's an electronic system, you build the algorithm in such a way that it takes cognizance of the different shade of justices on the bench. In a quick rebuttal, however, New Patriotic Party Constitutional and Legal Committee Chairman Frank Davis indicated that any such move will be counterproductive. You want a computerized and paneling of judges, and paneling of judges, computerized, electronic. And you think that cannot be fidgeted with? When we have justices in the Supreme Court who have gone through constitutional vetting and have, and, and have won the approval of an appointments committee, in the House of Parliament or the Chamber of Parliament. <laughs> what again do we want? And then at the end of the day, 
without their integrity and their fidelity to the law and to the constitution no i, I honestly don't think it's fair he urged the populace to continue to trust in the judiciary and desist from bastardizing the arm of government which has consistently served ghana's democracy effectively lord Dwasari, tv3 news accra